so I just dropped my mom off. She picked up a little time from, from 8 to 4. So I dropped her off and then I figured we'd go to Dollar Store. It's open in two minutes. Um, there's this viral Disney um, Cubs. There's Dumbo, one, excuse me, 101 Dalmatians, and Marie off of Aristocats. And I thought, well, I need Cubs eventually if we buy a house. And I can use them now. So I thought, let's go in there and see if we can find them. And if we can find them, we'll get one of each. I don't need the double one. I just like the cat and the dog. And I figured that would be our fun adventure for today. I'm on day, today's day three of my late shifts, so I have three left, I have uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm off for two, and Monday we're headed to Regina, so I'm going to take you with me, we need to get dog beds, we're going to go to chapters, we're going to look at some books, I haven't decided if we're buying it or not, depends on what's there, um, what else do we need, oh, we're going to go to home sense for the dog beds we're also going to kind of peruse around we're not perusing for too much we're just kind of looking um we have to go to oh we're going to go to some used bookstores i have two books that i really want to find one is flawless but i'm thinking it's elise silver um it's a really big one that's really po uh, popular right now um and it's i want the mirrored one because I bought the other four and I didn't realize I didn't get the fifth one. So now I'm on the hunt for that. And then the other one is the King of Wrath. Um, in the Indigo uh, Special Edition, which is black. Um, which I really, really want. And that's by Anna Huang. I think that's how you say her name. If not, I'm so sorry. Uh, so I want that. I found one in uh, Swan River, Manitoba. But that does not work because that's like way over there. Um, so we're facing north. Manitoba is here. Alberta's over there. Um, and yeah, it's way over there. So that doesn't really work for that. I did message her to see if it's available. Um, and if it is, maybe she'll ship it. But I don't think she will. And then like to ship it, like um, Canada Post has a thing where you can... Um, what is it called? Basically, they ship it. You pay for it uh, at the post office. They send them a check. Most people don't like it because they like want cash in hand. But, you know, it is what it is. That's why we'll go to Regina. We'll have a cruise around. So, we'll go to um, Value Village. Um, and then there's supposed to be, or there was. I don't know if it's still there anymore. I haven't been there in years. Um, but there is a used bookstore um, in the same building as Value Village. So we'll look at Value Village because they have a book section. And then we'll turn around and we'll go to the used bookstore. Um, got a piece of skip. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so that's Monday. So I have my test and a little bit of shopping on Monday. We might go to PetSmart. They should have their Valentine's Day stuff out, so I'll get um, the dogs some Valentine's Day hearts and stuff. But basically, I'll take you with me for the day. So let's go into Dollar Store now that they've opened it. So, they didn't have it, but that's okay. Oh, I should plug in my phone before I go. Um, we really didn't need them. It was, oh, sorry. I'm going to block you for a minute. There you go. Um, it's just a fun little activity to do. They didn't have nothing, but that's okay. So, depending on what time I decide to leave the house, um, I do have to go to the bank. So in Canada, we have um, the bank. I think it's Bank of Nova Scotia. We just call it Scotia Bank. Um, and there's the Bank of Montreal. Um, there's the RBC, which is the Royal Bank of Canada. There's the Credit Union. There's all, all kinds of stuff. But, uh, my truck loan is through Scotiabank. So, one of these days, I usually do it in January. I like to go in, and I think they open at 9, so in an hour. Um, but what I like...
like to do is I like to go get um, a copy of uh, how much I have owing left on my truck. So my truck is done this year. Thank God. Um, but I like to know each year how much I have left to pay. So then I can figure out, you know, like I know how much I pay in a year. So then I can roughly figure it out, like how much is going to be left. Because then that's usually the big decision of um, what I end up doing. Because it gets paid off in September. And then it's done, done. Thank God I'm ready to be done paying for this. Then it won't hurt as bad. <laughs> and that's $400 back into my pocket that I'll probably end up putting in my savings. But I do have to do that. So if I leave the house in a decent time, we're going to try for 930 so that I can go do that. And I'm thinking roughly it'll be between nine to ten thousand left to pay on this truck and because um last year it was twenty thousand i pay about between ten to eleven thousand in a year because it's 400 bi-weekly so we're roughly looking at between nine to ten thousand left to pay on it then so if i I'm hoping to pass on Monday like you wouldn't believe. I want to pass so stinking bad. So, if I go work for my brother, and, well, if I pass, then I can go work with my brother. Depending on how much is owed on that, I might take a portion of that higher paycheck and put it on the truck to pay it off faster. Because the faster it can be paid off, the less I have to pay it, and then it's done, and then more I can put back into my savings, right? Because then, if it's paid off, say, um, July, which it probably won't, but as an example, um, then all that extra money that would be coming out of my account, like, it would be, so say I put a thousand dollars on it, and plus my 400 that's $1,400 onto it. So then I could end up being putting that $1,400 back into my savings if it's paid off faster. And then if I do decide to go back to the hospital, which I'm hoping not, um, basically that entire check, I could chunk it out however I want and have that done and ready and I'm not worried about um, paying that bill because that bill is not because like right now I'm making eleven hundred dollars four hundred of it is truck payment and then trying to well my dogs and cats are expensive because I have them on the best dog food and the best cat food because I want to make sure that well I've always been on origin because origin is the best it's high in um protein and it's high in crude fats so that's what they need other than going it's the best dog food without going into raw and I can't afford raw I can barely afford the ones that they're on but it's the best dog food so it is what it is but I don't oh yeah I don't know where I went with that tangent <laughs> anyways I'm back at the house I'm gonna go read my book I finished caught up yesterday so now I'm reading um, Song of a Siren do, I think is what it's called by Elise Kova. Um, so far it's actually really good. Um, her books though I do find are very long and the reason why they're very long is there's just a lot of material in that book and this one's like 500 pages but they're like tight spaced um, very detailed 500 pages which I'm not complaining about. I like it I like it a lot but so I'm gonna go read that and I have to pack up my stuff to go to work because we're going to leave here at about 9.30 and then we want to stop at the bank and then we'll go to work. So see you in the next clip. I don't know when it's going to be. Maybe tomorrow. Hello. So I'm just backing out of the garage. I swear to God, I feel like sometimes when I back this out, 
that this truck keeps getting bigger. But it doesn't. <laughs> like, it gets wider. But, um, anyways, I think it's 9, like, 21, 22. So I'm going to head into the Scotia Bank and go see how much is on my loan. So then I know how much is left to pay. Yeah, eight, it's 921, so we're good. But I was thinking, because I am on the hunt for that book, well, maybe I won't be, because there's a person there. I was gonna stop at the little library that's just down the street. But there's somebody sitting there, so I will maybe do that tomorrow. an eye out on that and see if uh see if maybe they show up in there as well because then I put how many free ones in there so I can just go thank you that's what I've been looking for but anyways I'm gonna shut up I'm not gonna make this long um I'm headed to Scotia Bank and I will let you know how much is owed on this puppy I'm hope I'm hoping Hoping, hoping it's under 10. But I have a feeling it's between 10 to 12. But we'll see. So I'll see you in a minute. Got here. Now I don't bank here, so I don't know when they open. I have four minutes to wait yet. So we're going to go in four minutes and then we'll go in and we'll see. Um, see what it is. I have to take my driver's license because I need the source of identification. Because I don't bank here, so I don't have a bank card. So we're gonna wait four minutes and then I'm gonna go in and see how much I owe. So I'm still kind of, I'm a little eh. It's not paid off this year. I, right now, currently, it's at 16000 So I roughly have a year and a half ish. But I can chunk that down a lot when I go work for my brother. But not not as happy as I would have been. I was hoping I'd be under, but it is what it is. We're gonna get it dealt with. It's gonna be paid off. We're gonna be done. Um, but I was hoping it was done this year. It's not, which is too bad. But I mean, it is what it is. There's nothing much we can do about it. Um, and then. So not only is it not paid off this year, they're like, well, you have to get a credit card. That's nice, but I don't bank here. So it's hard to make payments when you don't bank there. So I just said no. But kind of like, yeah, I was hoping it was done this year. I mean, it could be. I could put a chunk of change on there. But so you can actually subtract tomorrow's payment off because tomorrow's payday so we're probably looking at 16 flat just under 15 maybe uh, I'm actually really sad because I thought it was paid off this year so then I gotta figure out what I'm doing oh well okay we're headed to work we're headed to work and we're disappointed but it is what it is. And the parking lot's full, so that's never good when there's a bunch of people here. Oh well. It's fine. We're gonna survive. It's all good. Our late shifts we have two left and then we're free so this morning I have to go get my mom a cup at PV Mart so I thought I'd take you with me and we're also gonna check let's turn that up we're also gonna check the little um, library that's up here by the house and then we might go to two other ones I'm on the hunt for those two books and if they happen to show up I'm going to pick them up so that's what we're going to do I just pulled up so I'm going to go get out have a peek 
and I'll let you know if I pick up anything. One was a bust, but that's okay. I figured I would check, you know, just in case, the odd chance that it might be in there. Maybe. Fingers crossed. So, we're gonna go grab the cup that my mom needs for work. Because it's just easier, like, to have a cup or a water bottle at work versus taking bottles of water. But she is what she is. So we're gonna head out, we're gonna do that. And then, maybe we'll just do the one. We'll see what time I'm done in PV Mart. But we might go to two others and we'll go have a peek. And, cause I know there's one that's really good over there that might have some of what I'm looking for. So that one I for sure want to go to. The other one usually isn't that great. So anyways, let's get to it. Oh, that was a bust. So we're gonna go over to Dollarama and I'll get, cause their water's a dollar. So we'll get mom two of those and then I'll leave one in the truck, take one into work for her when I go. It's cold. It's like minus 35, maybe even minus 40, which is actually warmer than before, but it's it's cold. <laughs> oh, little old lady, what are you doing walking on the ice? Don't walk on ice, because if you slip and fall, I can't help you. Crazy little old lady. <laughs> old, old cat. So. We're here, we're gonna run in there quick, we're gonna grab two bottles of water, and then we'll go to um, the little library. We got the water, so we scored at least once. <laughs> now we're gonna go over to that little library. Woo, she's a little icy too. Um, and we'll have a peek. Fingers crossed, I would love to see both, or even just one would be really ecstatic, but nobody, but that's okay if it's not, we'll just keep our eye out, maybe we'll get lucky, and then we got toured two days, we had to Regina on Monday, and then we're gonna look, now my paycheck was not great, I also had a couple sick days in there that I didn't have sick time for, so I didn't get paid for them. But it is what it is. That's why my paycheck's so low. And then um, two of the days I LO'd my Thursday Fridays because I, I don't want to be there for those. Then I had my week off. But it was lower than I needed. But we're still going to go look. We're going to peruse. I do need dog beds, but maybe we'll wait and I'll stash up some money and then we'll buy dog beds but I do want to look at them but I don't have to go to home since when we go to Regina so maybe we'll just hold off on the dog beds because I do know that I'll probably maybe need cat food when I go home it'll be close dog food I don't need I have a lot of dog food thank god um but yeah just headed over there right now, so I'll let you go. I just have to turn this corner here, and then um, I'll let you go. There we go. Alright, I'll see you after I've looked at the, the library. There's nothing in that one. Um, or at least none that I was looking for. I'm tempted to... Now, it all depends on like um, what my mom wants to do. But I'm tempted to see, go on like the little library website and see where the little libraries are in Regina and maybe take you with me. I'm him and Han, I have decided. But I do know that they would have a lot more variety, whereas the little town where I am, they don't, we don't have a bookstore. So, like, if a good one's in there, it's gone right away, but, you know, it's still gonna look, just in case. But, I wonder if we should peruse in Regina. I don't even know if they have, well, I know they have one, and that's over by Cabela's. 
it's on the way to Cabela's. But otherwise, I don't know if there's any other ones there. So, maybe... We, let's go across the way. It's only 9.30. And I'm just going to go sit and read the least Kova that I wanted to read. Which is uh, a duet with a siren dude. But maybe that's what we'll do. Because my mom has something to do when she's in there. And if they're all close to where I have to be, I just might. So there's a thought. We'll see. That might be an old video in itself. Which, I don't know how many people would actually want to watch. But, you never but I want to go check this one, and if I get anything, I'll let you know. So I did find one book. Now, I've seen it on Book Outlet. I've never bought it. But I wonder if this isn't a special edition. Just give me a sec. i got to get around, and then I'll show you what it is. It's called Where Dreams Descend by Janelle Ant Angel. I think it's Angel. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Your last name. Um, but this is what the cover looks like. And the only thing is I'm not sure because it's it doesn't have a dust jacket. Usually hardcovers have a dust jacket that go around the book. But now again, this way I gotta get around this. Okay, so I didn't think Mr. Simi was going to stop. He's not really stopping. You, buddy, you're out in the middle of the fucking way, man. Some people, they just... Some people, and I know it's bad to say, but some people just drive to kill. And he's one of them. But, we're going we're gonna to let that slide. It's going to be okay. But, this was inside. And then on the back, it says, it, they're so excited to be part of this month's spectacular box. I'll read it in a minute, but it looks like it's a special edition. Um, I've never heard of the spectacular box. I've heard of like fairy loot, owl crate, um, lit joy, I think is one. Oh, I'm speedy. Um, Is it the bookish box or something like that? I think is one. But I've never heard of this spectacular box, so I was intrigued. And I'm really big on collecting special editions right now. Um, just because it is hard to get them in Canada. Like, I would die for the Barnes & Noble exclusive um, inheritance games because it's got sprayed edges with um like a chain a gold chain on it and is there a key like i have it i have a picture of it on um my release ones that are releasing this year i think i think it's on there but anyways i really really want that but um we're not going to the states anytime soon so and where Barnes and Noble is, so I don't think that'll be happening. But anyways, I got sidetracked. The only reason why I picked it up is because I think it's a special edition. So I'm like, well, I'll take it because I've been looking at the book. I'm not 100% sure if I want to read it. We'll see. But excuse me, um, it can go on my special edition shelf. Um, because I did get. Now I've already read it. It was okay. But I got the special edition, um, I think it's When It Ends by Colin Hoover, um, with the flowers. I think that's what that one's called, I can't remember. I read it a long time ago, bought it, and then I just haven't, it hasn't got here yet. So it will be a book haul eventually. It's just a matter of when. And then, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Happens all the time. If I 
post concussion is a pain in the butt because I'll lose my train of thought so many times. It's not even funny. But I'm gonna get out, plug in my truck, read that, and then I might come back to you. But I do need to plug in my truck because she's chilly. I still think it's a special edition. It's by Wednesday Books. Um, this is the back, this is the front. You get a card with it, and then I was flipping through. And this just makes it worth it. It's freaking signed. No freaking way. That is crazy. And it's like brand new. It's never been flipped through because you can still hear like the, you know, when you first open it, it kind of goes like, you know. Oh, I died. I died. I died. I died. Oh my god. I do, I think this is a special collector's edition sign that somebody gave away. Oh my god, I have to keep it now. This signed first edition is printed exclusively for Owl Crate. So this is a... Ah! I died, 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 I died. A first edition exclusively for Owl Crate. So this is a special. This is. Oh my god. This is a signed of first edition. And I've never held one of these. Oh, I died. I've never got one of these. Never. Oh, I have books at home that I'm going to have to put in that one. Oh my god. Mm, today is a good day. It's been a bad week. Oh, I know it's just a book and you probably think I'm silly, but oh my god. No freaking way. Mm. These are so hard to come by up here. And after the week I've had, Oh my god. I died. I freaking died. I don't I don't even know what to do with it now. I'm not gonna read it. Hell no. That's amazing. That is so cool. This is the only owl crate thing I've ever had. Because they're too expensive, so I can't afford to unsubscribe to it. So I've never I never even bothered to uh, sign up for it. <gasps> oh. This is amazing. This is, this is amazing. This is so cool. <sighs> I'm dying. I don't know who put it in there, but whoever put this in there, thank you, you made my day, and you didn't even realize it, and like, that's so cool, it's brand spanking new, oh, today's gonna be a good day, good morning everybody, so today is day five, we have one more, and then our test, and we're headed to Regina. Um, I'm just, I just finished dropping off mom. She's got to go work a 12 hour day shift. And now I gotta go get some fuel. Cause we need fuel really bad. So that's where we're headed. Oh, that's just a dog here. I thought somebody scratched my screen. But it's kind of chill this morning. I'm tired. I'm tired. But we have one left after this. We just gotta get through today. And then we only have. Ooh, I'm sorry if you yawn. And then my test is two hours. So I have nine till 11 to write it. Maybe it might even be two and a half. Um, oh, I do need to stop and get a cap. A calculator at the dollar store today. Um, um, so that's what I have to do. They open it. I think like 8 or something. We'll see how long fuel takes. It shouldn't take that long. Though. But when we go to 
because I can't use my phone because then they'll think you're cheating. So, I mean, it's a pesticide example. So it's kind of like, what does it matter? But we're going to follow the rules. We're going to follow the rules. So I have to get a calculator today or tomorrow. Well, it'll have to be today because everything closes early tomorrow except for Walmart. Kids sits 
something in the truck. Oh, and then <clears throat> usually I just put a noodle cup in. Because more often than not, I don't want to have to take in a container sometimes and heat it up. Or I only want to, like I don't, I leave for my dinner, so it's less time that I have to stay in there. So, and I can't afford much. And so, like with my brother being at the house, we don't have leftovers, so you don't take leftovers for dinner. But, I mean, it is what it is. So, I basically have an hour and a half, and then I got, we got to stop at the dollar store. I'll do on my way to work. Ooh, I'm very tired today. But I gotta get that calculator. I wanna pay cash there. Cash monies. There we go. So that was our adventure. It was something else. <laughs> oh, so now we're headed to go to work. So I gotta go to dollar store because we gotta get the we gotta get our calculator and while I'm there I might as well get a bottle of water oh that's just a garbage bag I was like what the heck is that um so I have to get that and then we also have to stop at the bank what are you doing I have to right away you crazy old bastard you almost hit me um i guess we have a death sentence today <laughs> uh i have to my mom needs 75 bucks so i gotta pull 75 bucks from the bank and then we go to work i'm about i might be halfway through a duet with the siren duke um like I said at the beginning of this video, she's thick. Like she's she's got a lot of tiny words. Plus, um, work interferes with my reading. Otherwise, I would have been done by now. But we have to go to work. We need the money. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But we have one more day, and then we gotta write our test. I really, really want to pass. Like. I need a career change really bad. So, we're going to do that. And then, we got six earlies. Well, we go to Regina. We're, I'm off Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to hang out. We're not going to do nothing. We're going to play video games, maybe watch some TV. Which, really, there ain't much to watch. Um, we're going to basically just hang out on a day off because because we just need to enjoy it before we go back for six earlies. I'm not looking forward to six earlies but it is what it is. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm gonna shut up now. We're gonna go to the bank. We're gonna go to the dollar store. Okay, now we're headed to work. Got our calculator. We stopped at the bank. That's done. 9.40. I don't know why I go early, but I do. So, we're headed to work. We're going to get our eight hours done for the day. We have one more left. I say it all day. I always go, you got one more left, you're almost done. You got one more left, you're almost done. Because some days it's just very long. It's a very long day, but it's fine. It is what it is. It's cold. Today's the day you won't be snuggled up in your house. This is this is the day where I wish I had a stay-at-home job. Where I only had to go out buy go groceries and dog food and I could go back home. And I wouldn't have to leave. But it's fine. It's fine. So I'm gonna go to work. I hope you guys have a great day today. I hope I hope nothing bad happens. I hope all the good comes to you today. And uh, I'll see you, I'll probably see you in the next video. We're going to go to Regina, so I'll skip through that. Well, no, I might see you tomorrow, let's be honest, depending on what we get up to. If not, um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.